new shoe. Okay, so these shoes I've had for I think two years. I just haven't been the size to fit them. I'm like a half size smaller, so I thought I might as well skate them now. And it's a good season to skate, it's spring. Oh, by the way, for the location, I'm in Orlando, Florida. Here is the shoe. It is the Westgate CC. Really nice shoe. I love the colors on this, the red tread. It's my first red tread, I think. They even put pads where the rubber's thicker for where you're wearing down, like on your heel and such. And the toes, I wear down a lot of my toes. I love their silhouette. I like how the laces are, that little America hit right there. It kinda looks like wings to me. Needs mesh outside. Let's see if that's mesh. Highly breathable light, I'm assuming. One thing I do not like is this here. I guess it's for comfort, yet I think I'm gonna blow this out, this uh, mesh part. Yeah, it has a lot of mesh, more mesh than I'm used to. Feels like pretty thick. I love this feature. Every shoe should have this feature. The like, this, this band, it's amazing. I like how this upper part, I usually blow on my heel right here, but this upper part, it's kind of like this rubbery substance. I guess on this color, right? I just like how this shoe looks. It's very techy looking. Britain Westgate does a ton of gnarly stuff, and I'm hoping I could get a little bit of an upgrade on my skill with these. Uh, I think they have the G6 midsole right there, and it just looks like a super techy shoe. I'm sad that they stopped producing these because Westgate left the team. These look so good. I think these and the Hermans are probably my, like my favorite looking shoes by America. Yeah, the Provost and the Romero just look like standard shoes, like Mikey Taylor. But these look super techy, and I like that. So let me try them on. First impressions. They feel bulky and stiff, which I like, because I haven't had a shoe like that in so long. Uh, right where the, I don't know, what to call that. Where the tongue like beats the shoe, it feels that feels very stiff. Probably because that's where the like numbuck plasticky material meets the shoe. The toes kind of look weird. To be honest, it looks like my feet are super rectangular. It looks like rectangular than pointy. I'm used to like having like more of a divot here, I guess. I thought they would look way better on me. I don't know. I don't like the exact look on them, like the shape of the toe box. I prefer the shape of the toe on the Kramers. So, let's just skate in them, see how they are. First all, it was kind of the bad one. I'll redo it. I'm deciding to make this a full review because I just got done with them. So, America Westgate. Top five shoe right here. All right, personal. I haven't had many, so that's why. Right now, I put a lot of shoe goo on it. And you see, like, it's going through here, but I could still shoe goo that up a bit. You can see they have a lot of wear and tear. The soles are still pretty darn good. I've been hitting it hard on the heels, and then the toes are becoming a bit flat, but I think they still have a lot of grip. They actually did not blow out like most of my shoes in the places I thought it would. I thought it would blow out right here, but this material stayed pretty strong. You can see it's starting to rip through a bit. Right here was the big blowout in this area. 
So I think that they could have just brought it a little bit more inside. I was expecting no blowouts from the top area since it was already so close to the collar, but that mesh could just go a little bit more inside. My switch foot looks pretty good, just flatter on the toes and such. I felt like I had really nice board control in my toes with the heels. I barely could feel anything, which I liked personally. Impact. I ollied the four block at Tribeca for the first time in these, so I got a big achievement in these shoes, so you already know that I like these just for that already. So Westgate, he does some pretty cool gaps, of course, so there's a lot of cushion there. I hope that I got the pop that Westgate had, and I definitely felt cool in these. The toe is a little bit of an odd shape, I realized. So if you don't like this oddly shaped toe, then maybe it's not for you. The one piece toe cap definitely held up. It reminded me of the wall and how the toe cap goes all the way back. And that definitely was a big plus. I wasn't expecting this shoe to be too cool, but this mesh right here and just the suede around it, just with this mesh, this little piece on the side, kept this shoe so nice and cool. I did not feel overheated at any point while wearing these shoes. And I think all shoes should just have mesh right here. Like, why not? It keeps the shoe nice and cushy. That's another thing I liked about the shoe. It's cushy all around. The laces did not rip much. I only ripped a lace like right here and I just retied it. So I like how the laces are pretty high up but not too high up. I recommend them to anyone who skates gaps and maybe some technical stuff. Probably not if you're all technical and if you skate barely any gaps because then You'll just feel like, oh, no board feel, but yet, if you do want to get protected from Primo, I hit Primo a ton, and I barely felt it. So, there's a big plus right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you all in the next one.